should be cheering yourselves, not me. Um, my union's one of many unions that was very, very proud to support the Freedom Riders. I think you've been an absolute inspiration. Give yourselves another cheer. Yeah. Thank you. It's just been absolutely fantastic to watch you people just fly. I mean, that you know, that this government thinks it can knock people back. It thinks it can smash people down. They don't know the power and the strength in the community. And, and, and other speakers have said, trade unions need to fight together with people in our communities because together we're very, very strong and then they need to be really worried. That's I think right. we need to take inspiration from people like the fast food workers in America as well who are having to go back for decent wages. There's loads and loads of fights that we've got to fight together. There's a, there, there's, um, there's, there's, a, there's a general election coming up next year. I think that's going to be a foul and filthy battle. It's going to be all about immigration. It's going to be about splitting people apart from each other. I think that, that campaigns like this can show that people of lots of different types of people come together, and when they come together, they're strong. I don't think it's. I, I think that they're they were, the, the courts were terrified that they were going to get to show that film again that everybody put put around, where um, poor old Tony Nuttall was bent double by a bunch yeah. of disgusting yeah. coppers. I tell you, that sort of thing caused outrage across the world, and that's the thing that that that, that actually social media can be quite powerful, even though yeah. as a journalist I prefer the professionals do it. Um, can I just say that, uh, I don't know who your other speaker is, I don't know if it is Alex, but uh, one of the reporters at the Sheffield Star, where I also work, was also treated very badly. Um, he wasn't roughed up like you lot were, but he was told to get rid of the uh, video, he's actually doing video now, get, get rid of the video on, on his phone uh, because of the Terrorism Act. Now this is something that journalists have come across a lot, particularly photographers. Guy, he's a photographer here, he'll know about that. I think he's taken pictures of social worker today. Um, that they've been, when, when, when journalists go and they haven't got permission and that they, 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 they incite the Terrorism Act as a reason for them not to be able to do what their job is, which is represent you. Actually, when journalism is best is when it represents you, the people. So, if the star doesn't do its job, and if the media doesn't do its job, you, the freedom riders, are going to put pressure on our bosses to make sure that, like us, the workers, well, they, well, the, the paper will back you, the papers will back you. But I think you are an absolute inspiration, as I say, and I think we have to all fight back together, and this is a fantastic way to show how we can do it, and we need to make sure that we're really strong next year. You've got to be strong next year because we've got a lot of battles to fight. Not least of all, getting rid of these Tory scumbags. Yeah!